G'day guys, Matt from Howl Heavy Duty. Today we are reconditioning a saver sub from the big rig. Now a saver sub is simply a semi throwaway item designed to preserve the thread on the bottom of the head itself. The reason is because that actual thread on the bottom of the head is connected up into a spline and all sorts of different bits of more intricate machine work and it's an expensive piece of gear if you actually wreck it. A saver sub screws onto that bottom thread it's got the same pin and box, meaning that, that new thread on the bottom, it will wear out because it gets screwed into every single rod. Once that thread wears out, you simply unscrew it and then either recondition it or replace it, preserving the actual thread on the head itself. So this particular one has been worn out on the largest rig in the fleet. It is a way oversized bit of gear compared to what an average saver sub looks like. So we do want to save it. Usually I can recondition these twice, and I'll show you how we do it. All right, so just so that you can get a feel for what we're going to do in the CNC, these are the threads here that have been destroyed by Robbo on the big rig. And what I'm going to have to do, because they're now too low, like they've lost the actual thread height there, is I'm going to have to take off about 30 mil of the nose here with the CNC program. So it'll just take off, because this is a void up the center. I'm just going to write a program to take off this part here which is then going to leave me with a shortened saver sub. Second part to the program is going to be just taking this part here off so that I can have a nice top of the thread actually brought back to being bare material. I don't need to go all the way because I can actually then chase that thread, what is left of it. So rather than having to recut the whole thing again, it's just making a program up to take off the little nose section here I could, I could use a, either a parting tool, right, which is no problem at all, or just do lots of facing. Um, we'll see how the parting tool goes. Sometimes when it is actually threaded, um, it's not ideal. You, I can't cut this in the saw because the saw is actually not large enough to grab it correctly. So it's just quicker to put it into the lathe and then get that measurement accurately. So once the nose is taken off here, and I have actually brought it back to metal, it's going to be a matter of just using my Z axis adjustments to be able to recut and chase the thread and it should come up absolutely brand new. So that's what we're gonna do in the CNC today. And yes, for those of you that wondered, I am actually a redhead that is left-handed. It is like the most recessive genetic combination out there. <laughs> I didn't choose the Ranger life, it chose me.
I'm really happy with how that turned out and we now have stored in the CNC a program specifically designed for recutting those large saver subs. Uh, the part is now headed off to site where Robbo will no doubt in no time flat maul it and wreck it once again. Oh, I'm not going to go on holidays for a while. That poor little thread. Oh, listen to that thread. How good that fish? Oh. No, she's fine, mate. Look at that. Bit too much lube. Never too much. I will never be out of a job. Thanks, buddy. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like. It really helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel, if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and in the comments, let me know where you tuned in from. I always get a kick out of knowing where in the world you are watching these videos from. Well, that's it from me. Guys, I will catch you in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, hello, Vader. You're such a happy little boy. Mulray. Mate, mate, you're on camera, dude. Murray, stop licking your nuts. <laughs> hello, darling one. You're just the, you're the real guard dog crazy nippy little thing that you are. Oh, okay, mate. Murray. Murray. Hello. People want to say hi to you, mate. You're just a loose cannon. Still the boss, aren't you, mate? Oh, yeah. Murray. I think he's good. <laughs>